Take your chain, ayy, ayy. Watch I come and then I walk out with your man, ayy, ayy. Want the zone of things, my shit can't be playing, ayy. when we was just up in this bitch till like 3, 4 in the morning, bro. Even at my old houses, bro. Up in this bitch till like 3, 4, 5 in the morning, bro. Just making music. Niggas falling asleep. Music still working. It's like, bro, it was just a whole bunch of us, bro. Really just putting that work in, bro. Even before D-Rose done left us and shit, we was still putting that shit in, bro. We was still putting that shit in, bro. No kizzy. No kizzy out. I wish my, I wish some of them, some of my, more of my niggas was here, you know, to talk more about this shit, you feel me? But y'all niggas gonna know, y'all niggas gonna know, y'all gonna oh, fuck for real. Y'all gonna fuck know regardless. Go NBF fucking interview, bro. NBF, copy game, snap again, y'all gonna know regardless. Fuck regardless. y'all niggas talk about, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, bro. G shit. Y'all ain't gonna, bro, even if y'all niggas don't even, try, ain't even trying to follow the trend, bro, y'all still gonna see us, bro, stop playing. Y'all still gonna see the name, bro. Y'all still gonna see the name. No way, bro. Fuck, what nigga talking about? Nothing but family. We grew up in, we grew up in the treacherous shit, bro. Yeah, so boom. I got my mic. It wasn't even my mic. It was my god brother's mic that he let me hold, like, from, like, month to month to month type shit until, like, he needed it, you know? So, boom. I got my mic. I just be rapping, trying to. Mm, mm, put that work in, really put that work in, bro. So boom. I think well, it was my first song I had dropped. I dropped that shit. I didn't like it. I was like, nah, just don't like the way. This doesn't sound the way I thought it was going to sound in my head. So, you know, once I seen that first fuck up, I was, you know, I was always trying to fix whatever I could I always kept messing up on, you know, and that's what made me love this music shit more. Like, you know, the challenges, bro. The challenges in this shit, bro. But I like, I love a challenge, bro. You feel me? So all these new flows that you see a nigga coming out with now, it's all like, it was all challenges to me, you know, to come up with my flow and shit. Because when I first started rapping, I was on some Earl Sweatshirt type shit. I was spitting straight lyrical bars. And that's, uh, that's really... That's really what my inspiration is from. I, I love the hip-hop side of music, bro. I love the hip-hop side of music and shit. So when I started on that shit, niggas wasn't really, like, you know, messing with that shit. Because, you know, living in Broward County, bro, you want to hear that. You want to hear that lit shit. You feel me? You want Niggas was listening to Kodak. Niggas was listening to Playboy Cardi. You feel me? So I try to hop on them type of shits, bro. And... At first, I wasn't fucking with it, so I never put it out. So I was still, you know, putting out my lyrical shit. And it was getting views, don't get me wrong. It was getting views. But it wasn't getting the views that I wanted to get, you feel me? So once I started dropping that type of shit and I seen that, okay, a few people actually like this shit, I kept going, you know? And it started getting fun to me because when I started hearing more beats... And, like, how different beats could get with the, with you know, the bouncy trap beats, bro, the plug beats. 
I was loving that shit, bro. I was like, ooh, yeah, I could get in my groove with this. Like, I could get jiggy with this shit, bro. So, once I started really getting jiggy with this shit, it was up from there, bro. Like, all the flows I'm coming up with, bro, it's so fun to me, bro. Like, really, bro, rapping is not stressing to me only when, you know, I got to, like, focus on the, you know, the business side of this shit. But other than that, bro, rapping is fun for me, bro. This is fun as hell for me, bro. Like, even when I'm not on my mic, bro, I'm not in the studio, bro. I'm freestyling in my head about some shit, bro. Like, my my girl would literally vouch for that shit, bro. Like, I'm literally freestyling about whatever, bro. Like, I could be freestyling about weed. I could be freestyling about cooking. Really anything, bro. So that's really, like, I really have a deep love for this rap. And, you know, I got a lot of family members that got deep love for this rap, too. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, you gotta you gotta adapt with the shit, bro. So it's like, yeah, I'm trying to every every project I was dropping, I was trying to figure out, you know, what is the next sound vision gonna drop? What is what is the what are my fans gonna like? And then I'm gonna attract more fans with, you know. Uh, you always gotta care about what your fans want to hear too it's not about what you want to drop my nigga it's always about what the fans want to hear give them give them up give them what you hear sometimes bro you gotta just do what you gotta do M music is business uh two projects y'all should be all the way for yo three honestly three first one um i don't really got a name for it but it's, just, it's a whole bunch of detroit flows i don't got a name for it yet but just know that shit gonna come out I got one of the songs dropping from it probably like this week. I'll drop a little, I'll drop a little, uh-uh. Uh, second one I'm finna come out with, Forever Thuggin'. I'm gonna come out with either, nah, it's either gonna be Forever Thuggin' or Road to Come 2. I'm gonna make that decision, but just be on the wait for those three projects, bro. Be on the wait for that shit, you know? It's a few artists I'm working with right now. Right now, I'm working with... I'm working with Baby Eight. I'm working with K Money. Walk with the Plays. I'm working with Walk with the Plays. My cousin, Trapaholic. That's one of my young niggas. He booming right now too. He got that one song, uh, Swipe Sensations. He booming right now. Shit. It's not really a lot of niggas I'm really working with, really. But those are the main motherfuckers I'm walk. I'm working with right now. We trying to come out with some shit. Shit, but like, out of Broward, I want to work with. I want to work with Polo G. I want to work with Lil Uzi, of course. I want to work with this one nigga that Playboy Cardi signed, uh, Ken Carson. I want to work with him. Tuop, I want to drop some more shit with Tuop. You know, because me and Tuop, we the OGs of this SoundCloud shit, for real. Me and Tuop, the OGs of this shit. We've been at this shit for a long ass time. You know, we still, you still see us at this shit. And it's not like me and Tuop not in contact. We talk with each other. Every fucking time. Just, you know, two, I'll be busy. I'll be busy, you know? But it's gonna happen soon, bro. It's gonna happen soon. A lot of features, bro. A lot of lit features. I wanna I wanna get some production from Lil Tekka. I want some beats from Lil Tekka. Because his shit go hard. I want... I wanna tap in with Earl Sweatshirt. I know that might be a tough challenge, but... Nigga, we can get shit done, bro. I don't... I don't ever say shit is impossible, bro. You feel me? This nigga Earl could probably see my shit and be like, let me look at this nigga music. Oh, shit. Like, you feel me, bro? Anything's possible, bro. But, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of artists that I really want to work with in the future. It's, it's just a lot to list, you feel me? All right, so, shit. Right now, I'm working on, I'm working on this mixtape right now. I'm actually working on a few projects, but the two main projects I'm really like working on right now, I got my focus on is this one project I have called World to Come Two. That's the this is the sequel to my first mixtape I dropped with this producer called Diego Bams. He don't even live in bro. This nigga lives in Mexico, bro. Making fire ass beats. So I was just like, yo, nigga, let's make a mixtape, nigga. Stop playing with me. I even bought some of his beats too. The fuck? You playing. You gotta invest in yourself in this shit, nigga. You gotta invest in yourself. Remember that. Invest in yourself with this rap shit, bro. For real, yeah. Real talk. I told that nigga, bro. 
let's make a let's make a mixtape, bro. Let's drop that shit on all platforms. Let's drop this shit on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, all that. I wanna. This is when I wanted to really start taking bigger steps with the music shit. Like I always, I was always dropping my shit on SoundCloud. I used to drop my shit on Spinrilla, but I never knew how to get my shit on the like Apple and Spotify and shit. Like I literally figured that shit out probably 2019, 2020. One of those, one of those years I figured out. So boom, that was that's the sequel to my first project. Does um. The second project I'm working on right now is called Forever Thuggin', and this is for my cousin D-Rose. Long live D-Rose, for real. G shit, long live D-Rose, bro. Real talk, like, this mixtape, bro, honestly, it means a lot to me because it's like, bro, my cousin D-Rose, bro, we really grew up with each other in this shit, and he was MBF too. We grew up with each other. Everyone in MBF grew up with that nigga, bro. My dog Fano, he could tell you shit about goddamn D Rose, bro. I could tell you stories about D Rose. Everyone could, bro. That was, that was a, that was a, damn. That shit fucked me up. That shit still be fucking me up, but you know, that's why I'm dropping this mixtape for my boy. You feel me? I'ma drop this mixtape. You know, it's called Forever Thugging. All the music, it ain't gonna be on no sad soppy shit. Nah, it's gonna be on some thugging shit, cause I know that's what he gonna want to hear. He don't want to hear none of that. Sad, soppy shit. Nah, he want to hear that thug shit, that gangster shit. So I, I said, all right, fuck it. I'm going to drop a mixtape called Forever Thuggin' because, you know, that was also his motto too. His motto was always Forever Thuggin'. And that's, that's still his motto right now. If you go on his Instagram, 59 Stocks D Rose, Forever Thuggin', you'll see that shit right there, bro. And that's what we all say in NBF. All of us, we say Forever Thuggin'. You know, because my boy DeAndre, man, my boy D-Rose, man, that boy was thugging. That nigga was a real-life thug, bro, since, like, he was nine, bro. Since this nigga was damn near still still in fucking elementary school, bro. Not even in damn middle school yet. Nigga was a badass, bro. I got that mixtape. I got an EP. I got an EP that I'm finna drop soon. I just gotta, I gotta buy the cover art and shit, you know. Again, invest in yourself. I gotta buy the cover art. It's gonna be about three or four songs or something like Detroit Flows, you know. I'm finna tap in with the Detroit Flows, cause I know, I know niggas fuck with that shit nowadays. So you know, I'm finna just tap in with that. You always gotta adapt. That's that's the thing. That's the thing with this shit, bro. That's another thing with this music shit. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to adapt more, cause you know, music's gonna keep on changing, bro. It's going to keep changing every year. It's going to be a new wave every year, bro. So you, y'all niggas have to adapt with this shit, bro. I'm doing the same shit. I'm trying to adapt with this shit. You know? And um the more you the more the more flows you come up with, bro, the more talented you going to be, bro. Trust. You going to be way more talented the more flows you come up with. And shit. That's why I got so much projects I've been working on. She a bitch, nigga, come and get your new sound. Hey, these niggas are a tool. He a bitch, nigga, come and get your new sense. No sound. Underrated. Shooting at 30, this is the Hey, these niggas opportunists. Hey, he a bitch, nigga, come and get your new shit. Hey, I love talking about the cash, I speak fluent. Hey, niggas plying for your money, watch they move.